What's going on, everybody? Come back. I'm going to talk to you about what I think makes a good pocket camp knife. What's going on, everybody? It's Patrick Midton Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I want to talk to you about what I think makes a good um, camp folding knife. Now, not everybody wants to run around with one of these strapped to them. They want something more portable, more pocketable in a knife. Now, I do carry this one on camping trips, and I do use this at state parks. You know, when I'm in my campsite, I'll have this on me that, you know, I can do it whenever I want to. But not everybody's comfortable carrying something like this. I mean, I've carried this all over different state parks here in Tennessee. But not everybody's comfortable doing that. And maybe your state doesn't allow it. I don't know. Um, I'm not even 100% sure on the national parks if you carry something like this. But this is the knife I carry with me camping. And, you know, it, it's a good working knife. It's a solid knife. It's a sheath knife. Got the dangler and everything. So it hangs on you when you sit down. It, you know, comes up out of the way. But not everybody, like I said, um want something like this on their side and they'd rather have something in their pocket so come back and we're going to get more in depth on okay that. so like i said not everybody wants a sheath knife on them when they're in camp um, some people just don't prefer to carry something this big so i've got three examples of knives sitting here on the workbench now that we're going to go through and we'll talk about their different points and their services and that kind of stuff as far as how they will serve you camping okay so the first knife i'm going to bring you is the uh, ontario rat folder 2. Um, it is a folder with a liner lock it does have thumb studs on it and they're on either side which means your belt clip or your pocket clip will go on either side tip up or tip down this is the manner i carry it which is tip down just the way i'm used to carrying it and i get that thumb stud and I can flick it out. Now I've had this knife for a good long time so it flicks out pretty easily. Um, it is made with the Aus 8 steel. Now, I'm not going to know the steel on all these knives but I do know that this one is Aus 8. This is the Model 1. I said Rat 2. This is Model 1. Um, sorry. But um, I like this blade. It's not as big as something like the sheath knife but it's pretty darn close so you can do all your food processing um, any kind of wood processing you might need to do feather sticking whatever you can do it with this knife with no problem whatsoever i've done tons of it with this knife but this is one of my more preferred uh, camp knives that i carry with me in my pocket so let me go to the next knife so we probably can't talk about camp knives if we don't talk about a swiss army of some kind or victor knox and this is the one-handed tracker. Now, I have videos for all these knives that I'm going to be showing you on our channel. But this is just something I'm going to give you a little more example of. Now, one thing this one doesn't have that this one does have, and if you're looking for that, won't be on this one, is a pocket clip. This one does not have a pocket clip. Now, if you choose not to carry a um, multi-tool of any kind, this is pretty close to that. Because not only does it have the knife blade, but you also have little tools on this one, like this one has a Phillips head. It does have an awl. It has a saw on it, which for a little folder, is probably one of the more aggressive saws you'll find out there in the world. Um, it's just a good all around knife. It's got its own tweezers. It's got a toothpick with it. I mean, you've got all that stuff that, you know, Swiss Army or Victor Knox has made popular. So the next and last option I'm going to show you is going to be from Gerber. You cannot get this particular knife anymore, but you can get one similar to this. Now, what this one has that, that's different from this and this, and I'm sure there's probably something you could buy to keep this on your belt, uh, some kind of sheath of some kind, but this one comes with a sheath only. And there is no pocket clip on this. This is the old Gerber Metolius. It is a thumb stud folder and good big generous blade on it thick beefy blade i'm sure it's one of the gerber famous steels uh it's probably nothing real fancy 
but it has a pommel on the bottom has good grip i like the grip this one has i have used this a few times now this is one of the um, um, thumb locks on the back it, so it's a totally different lock whereas this is a liner lock and this is a type of liner lock on this knife um, right there as you can see you have to push this back over for it to unlock this has your old thumb lock on the back so when you deploy this thing to close it you have to push here to close it but the, you know like I said this knife's no longer available you can probably get one very similar to it from Gerber or somebody else but I feel like this is a probably a good um, three of the better options out there as far as a folder there's a carryable knife. Um, like I said, this just adds a sheath to your belt, so it's on the outside, ready to go at all times. So in summary, um, I'm not saying you have to run out and buy any of these knives. I'm not saying that the knife you carry won't work. I'm saying this is what I consider one of the better sizes of pocket knives to carry on a camping trip and be useful on a camping trip if you don't have something like a sheath knife to carry with you. Now there are other cheaper options if you're wanting to look for something. Um, Open L, I can throw that out there. You know, 15 was it $15 knife? You can get it on uh, Amazon for next to nothing. I'll leave one down in the bottom if you want to take a look at it. Um, I've got one that I actually keep in my cook set and always have it ready to go for cooking. But uh, always carry one of these when I go camping also. So basically, you know, I don't think a, I mean, you can use any blade you want, any blade you've got, but this is what I consider some of the better of the bunch or better working force of the bunch of knives is these right here in this particular blade. All right, guys, that's it for now. I just want to throw this out there. Um, Hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, leave them. I'll try to answer them best I can. Remember, I'm not a knife expert. I just pretend to be one. Not really. But I do carry a lot of knives, and I do a lot of camping. And I know what I use camping and what works and what doesn't work. And I know these three knives work really well camping. And when I'm camping, you'll find one of these three with me. Usually this one or this one. All right, guys, that's it for now. Subscribe, like, and share. And uh, check out all my other links and check out my link tree. And if you want to donate to the channel, you can. There's a link on there to donate to the channel. That's it for now. Be prepared.